My name's Andy Fisher. I'm the CEO and founder of Kendo Star Limited. Uh, also, I present Kendo instructional videos via uh, the Kendo Show. Kendo Star is um, it's a brand that I came up with myself, particularly to cater specifically for people practicing Kendo outside of Japan. I noticed after my own experience of working for a long time in Japan for companies that manufacture kendo, equi kendo equipment that there was a, a gap in the market really for equipment that was properly suited for people not practicing kendo outside of Japan. It definitely is something that I'm, I'm super passionate about. Uh, it has, uh, has been for a long time. I think that uh, kendo is it's something that I've gained so much from in my entire life and you know I travel to Japan um, I've obviously learned a lot about uh, Budogu you know kendo equipment whilst I was over there. We were able to do kendo thanks to the equipment that we've got. Uh, the, the equipment is actually a really I think it's pretty underestimated by a lot of people because it's thanks to having the equipment that we're able to be hit and being hit is an important part of kendo. There's a concept called stemi you might know if you practice kendo, throw everything away and not care about being hit. But what I really felt like was that kendo equipment in Japan, uh, especially for younger people, do a lot of tournaments, a lot of uh, matches, uh, almost every week. I mean, most of the people over in Japan uh, doing kendo are under, under the age of 18 and are highly competitive, which is a really different environment to what we're doing over here. Um, so the equipment was getting lighter, thinner and less and less protective and more further away from the sort of thing that people like us practicing kendo over here really need. And I remember when I first started kendo and I had to borrow a, a borgo from, from the club, this old battered thing that totally stank and I remember wearing it, I remember being hit on the kote for the first time and thinking, ouch, that really hurt. And, and I've seen it so many times over the years teaching Kendall, people experiencing that and never coming back. And uh, I, I wanted to do something about that. I wanted to really make a brand that represented people like myself that started Kendall outside of Japan and uh, have Borga that was not only comfortable, lightweight, easy to get hold of, but properly protected you from injury, from pain, um, and to hopefully retain more people in, in Kendall. You know, I'm a normal person from Blackpool, <laughs> yeah, small town in the northwest of England. There was no massive Kendall club. I didn't grow up doing Kendall. I didn't start until I was an adult. And if I can achieve that, I've had to make a lot of sacrifices and I've had to put in a lot of effort to achieve what I've achieved, um, as does anybody, I believe. But if I can do that, then and I can achieve those goals that I've set for myself, then I think that really helped me understand that that isn't necessarily just Kendall. I can do that in other spheres as well. When I set out with the goal of helping people practice Kendall, or helping Kendall become a more developed practice around the world through the Kendo Star brand, I 100%, without a shadow of a doubt, believe that to be completely achievable, yeah? because I've already seen that happen before yeah, through dedication and effort and making sure that um, I do everything I can to stay on the right path. You know? If you have that goal in mind and you don't stray from it, you know, and things, things try to stray you from that. Yeah? Same with the World Championships. Yeah? Oh, I don't want to go to Kendo today. I don't want to go to squad training this weekend. It's a long way, it costs a lot of money. I'd rather, I'd rather go out with my friends or I'd rather go out for a meal I'd rather do this or I'd rather do that. Um, but, you know, I had that in that, I was focused on that goal and nothing was going to stop me to get it. Nothing was going to stop me getting there. And I feel very much the same about Kendo Star. It's been unimaginable. I mean, we've had so many, so much support from people around the world, people that know me, uh, know of me, have dealt with me through different things that I've worked in in the past that have really sort of bought into the idea of what I'm all about and why I'm doing this and the goal that I'm reaching towards. And they want to support it and they're helping me, helping me achieve it. 
it's, it's just been absolutely fantastic. It really did explode into life and uh, I, I, I couldn't be more grateful for it. Kendo has been my entire life. It's been more than my passion. It's been more than, it's certainly never been a hobby or a pastime. It's been, it's been everything that I live and breathe. And it's been the purpose of almost everything in my life. Everywhere, everything that I've done, every move I've made. Uh, I moved to Japan for almost a decade, just for the sake of it. Um, for the sake of becoming better at Kendo, for the sake of learning my trade to become a professional in the business that I run, which is a Kendo related business. I owe every good thing in my life to my practice of Kendo, my, my devotion to Kendo. If I hadn't practiced Kendo, I wouldn't have met my wife, I wouldn't have my children. Everything I owe to it. It's the best thing I've ever done and it's, it's literally everything to me. There's, there's, there's no more than that.